Hello guys, welcome back to Rathiri Tech Media. So, when you build a Python web application with a Django framework, you will at some point have to redirect user from one URL to another. The goal of this video is to make you familiar with the HTTP redirects and how to deal with them in the Django. At the end of this video, you will be able to redirect a user from one URL to another URL and you will also know the difference between the temporary and permanent redirects. So let's get started. So let's start with this simple example. Let's say we have two URLs or you can go call them two pages. So the first page is or URL is URL1. As you can see it's loading page 1 and the second one is URL2 and this loads page 2. So now if some, con if some condition is met on URL1 then we want to redirect the user to the URL2. Let's say our condition is if someone passes a query parameter named Q then right now it's redirecting to the page it's just uh, loading the url1 but we want that if this condition is met which is if anyone passes q equals to 1 as a query parameter in the url then we just want to redirect the user to the page 2 these are the two urls url1 and url2 and these are the two corresponding views this is the view for the url1 now Let's redirect the user if we found any query parameter. So for that we have to just first check for the query parameter using this request.get.get q and get is the name of the method. Now let's say if q is not none then uh, then redirect the user else work normally. So here to redirect the user, just import from Django dot shortcuts import redirect, and here uh, return redirect to URL two. Okay. Okay. Let's test this out. This is our URL one. And without a without any query parameter it's working fine now let's pass the query parameter q equals to 2 now as you can see that when we pass the query parameter it redirected us to the url page 2 or url 2 so this was the one way of doing this but let's say in future you change your url 2 to url 3 and then you just passed query parameter to url1 so it should redirect you to the page 2 but as you can see that it will land you to the page not found error so what this happened this happened because you changed your url but you forgot to change the hard coded url path in your redirect function so this is the common mistake that we used to do while redirecting the user so to fix this you have to make changes at both the places inside the urls.py and and at every place where you are redacting the user but this is quite frustrating because you have to remember all these things so another way of doing this is using the named urls so let's use the named urls open your urls.py and in my case this is my app practice and these are my urls.py main urls.py under django tutorials folder so here i have linked this practice.urls and here i have added a parameter on you do have to add the same name space equals to practice so you can name it anything as per your convenience i have named it practice now i will move on to the practice.urls and here are both of those urls url1 and url2 and here i will name my url as page 2 now move on to the place where i am redirecting just import a function from zango okay from zango.shortcuts import reverse and here instead of hardcoding the url we can simply write reverse 
and then pass the name space which is which is the practice practice and then the name of the url page 2 which is page 2 okay page 2 now let's test this out so as you can see that if we enter the url one now let's pass a query parameter q equals to 5 okay it's directing to the page 2 now let's change our urls just inside the urls.py file practice.urls make it url5 and now this this should automatically make it to url5 this function Okay, let's test this out again so url1 now pass a query parameter as you can see that i'm directed to url5 so it's working fine the important thing to note here is this colon separator they separate the namespace and the view name now let's say we want to redirect to a function or a view where there is no namespace what i mean by by saying this is let's say copy this url and this is our main urls.py and then just name it url6 and let's create another view for that url that view 6 and then say page 6 import that view from practice import views and then here views dot uh, name of the view was redact view 6 view 6 now let's give it a name so uh, its name is page 6 okay now we want to redact to that view but that view does not have any namespace because it's just a URL and this is an and this this is a file urls.py but this is just a single URL so we want to redirect to this URL where there is no namespace so here we have to just make it page 6 and let's check it out okay so let's go to URL 1 let's see it's working pass a query parameter q equals to 2 as we can see that it's working fine now as you're familiar with these angular redirects so let's move on to the permanent and the temporary redirects whenever we visits an url or enters an url in our web browser we are returned with an response with a status code the status code for temporary redirects is 302 and for the permanent redirect is 301 now let's redirect our user using permanent and temporary redirect temporary redirects are done for some temporary causes like maintenance or bug fixing causes and permanent redirects are done for permanent causes like a site abc.com has shifted to xyz.com by default this redirect function redirects the user as a temporary redirect but what if we want to redirect the user as a permanent redirect so for that we have to import this http response class which is already imported here then let's create our response response http response and then we have to pass our status code here so as i told you before that for temporary redirects it's 302 which is by default and for permanent redirects it's 301 and then you have to pass the location attribute here which implies that this is a place where user will be redirected so here we will just do the same thing report 6 okay now we can just return response let's test this again so this is our URL then now pass a query parameter 
so we are reacting to the page 6 url 6 but how do we know that it's a temporary direct or a permanent direct to know that just right click click on inspect and go to the network tab okay now make sure you have clicked on preserve block now again move to the url one and let's redirect this query parameter 2 now here is this is our url as you can see that and here you can check that that status code is 301 move permanently so by now you should be able to redirect a user with permanent and temporary redirects i hope you like this video